guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be sharing a cook and clean with me with you guys this is going to be a collab with my friend Brandy over at Brandy Nicole you guys might have seen me collab with her in the past I think we did a what's for dinner before maybe one other video I can't remember for sure I love her um, she's so sweet but she recently restarted her YouTube channel and she has a whole new channel so even if you think you're subscribed I want you to click the link down below and just make sure that you're subscribed and check out her video. She's also going to be sharing a cook and clean with me, but she does all kinds of cleaning videos, like DIY videos and decor videos, and she does what's for dinners and like easy cooking videos. So we are doing a cooking clean with me today. Make sure you go check her out and let her know that I sent you over there. I'm about to make some pizza for dinner, quick and easy. The link for the pizza dough will be down below. And then I'm going to be baking a apple cider donut cake for dessert tonight. But my house is a mess, like my kitchen and my living room are a mess. So we're gonna clean that up as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started on pizza because Elijah was just in here telling me he's hungry. So as I said, the recipe for this dough will be down below. And I actually always double it so that I can have enough to freeze. Um, so this will actually make like four pieces that are this size. So I'm going to divide this. I'm not going to make it all right now. I'm probably going to end up putting some in the freezer and then I'll make another pizza later tonight once Andy gets home. But I'm going to flatten this out and then I've got some string cheese. I'm going to be making stuffed crust pizza. So I'm going to just like flatten it out and then put the cheese in the crust and then I par bake this crust for like four minutes on 500 degrees. While the pizza was par baking in the oven, I went ahead and shredded my mozzarella cheese. I have this whole block of mozzarella and I just prefer to shred my own cheese when I can. And I always have like my reusable bags that I store my cheese in and the attachment for the KitchenAid listed in my Amazon shop down below if you are interested. Once my pizza came out of the oven, I topped it with some pizza sauce and then the mozzarella cheese that I shredded and then some pepperoni and a little bit of cheddar cheese. And then this went back in the oven on 500 degrees for another five to six minutes. While the pizza was in the oven, I decided to go ahead and get everything else cleaned up. And then I'm also going to prep some veggies to go with our pizza, some salad stuff, cucumbers and stuff like that.
Okay, as you saw, I cut up some vegetables. I have a salad, romaine lettuce, cucumbers, tomatoes, and then the dressing is the Aldi restaurant style Italian dressing. And then here are the kids. Lily doesn't like salad, so no salad. And then Elijah's. So we're going to eat, and then once we are done eating, we will make dessert, which as I said, is going to be this apple cider donut cake. Okay, we're gonna get started on our cake. As I said, this is an apple cider donut cake. I have never made it before, but it sounded delicious and perfect for fall. So I will have the recipe linked down below so you guys can get exact measurements and step-by-step step, step step instructions. Uh, I'm gonna try to walk you through it, but if I forget anything, the exact recipe will link, be linked down below. So I have melted half a cup of butter. I'm gonna put that in my bowl. I'm not using my stand mixer today just because I have um, that dough in the mixing bowl in the fridge. So I'm just not gonna mess with that. And then to my melted butter, I'm gonna add my sugar. I'm gonna do one cup of brown sugar and three quarter cups of granulated regular sugar. Um, I always get questions on what kind of sugar I'm using. This is like regular granulated sugar, but it's kind of like tan looking because of the brand that I buy. I think the brand is Zolka and it's like not bleached like regular white sugar. So it's um, kind of tan looking. So three quarters of a cup of this and one cup of this. I'm gonna go in with my butter and I'm gonna mix that around, get it all combined. Next, I'm going to add in four eggs. Now, one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna do a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg and a full teaspoon of cinnamon. The recipe also calls for cloves, but I don't have that, so I'm going to leave it out. Next, I'm gonna do a teaspoon each of baking soda and baking powder. Next is going to be two cups of all-purpose flour. And finally, one cup of apple cider. Mine is actually spiced apple cider, so hopefully it is good. Okay, now I'm gonna beat it together with my handheld mixer until everything is fully mixed. Okay, I'm baking this today in a bunt pan and I like to take a little sandwich bag and some vegetable shortening or Crisco and just grease my pan so nothing sticks.
All right, I'm gonna pour my batter in my bundt pan, and I think I forgot to say, I do have my oven preheated to 350, and this is gonna go in there. It says 35 to 38 minutes, so I'm gonna check it at 35. Okay, the only other thing we are going to need once the cake comes out of the oven is some cinnamon and sugar mixed together to sprinkle over the top of it. It says one tablespoon of sugar and one tablespoon of cinnamon. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix those together so that I can clean up the kitchen while the cake bakes. started off by getting everything that I use for baking put away. Then I moved on to unloading the dishwasher. Usually I have the kids help me with unloading the dishwasher, but I was actually listening some to some music, like a playlist that was not appropriate for their ears. If you're interested in that playlist, I will have it linked down below. It's on Spotify. It's called like grinding in a sweaty high school cafeteria or something. Very explicit. They were in their room and I was listening to that while I filmed this video. So I just unloaded the dishwasher by myself and then I moved on to doing the dishes. Next, I moved on to wiping off the table. I just cleared the placemats and everything off and then sprayed it down. This is not the Lysol spray that the bottle is supposed to be. I've been refilling this bottle with like this big like bottle that's supposed to be a refill from Dollar Tree because I cannot find a Lysol spray, but this is some other kind of uh, disinfectant spray.
Then I used the same spray and wiped off the stove and the counters. Then we moved on to the living room. I had the kids help me put away the laundry. I had folded all this laundry right before I started making dinner and just didn't have time to put it away before actually making dinner because we were all hungry. So we put all of the laundry away and then just straightened up the living room, got all the blankets folded up and the couch straightened up and everything. Okay, my cake was done at 35 minutes. I tested it with a toothpick to make sure that it came out clean. And now I have let it cool for 10 minutes. Now it's time to flip it out. Even though I grease my pan really well, every time I'm always nervous it's gonna get stuck. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to flip this out of here. I've got my little cake thing. And then we're gonna put the cinnamon and sugar all over the top of it once it's out. Got it out. I might not have greased my pan as well as I thought I should have, but you know, real life. Things happen. It's okay. It still smells absolutely amazing and it still looks pretty, even though it's cut in half. Um, now I'm going to sprinkle this cinnamon and sugar mixture over top and let it cool a bit and then we'll have this for dessert. That is going to be it for this video. I just tried the cake. It's still hot, but it is delicious. My house smells amazing. Highly recommend that you try that recipe. As I said, it will be linked below. I think it'd be great with like a scoop of ice cream, but it definitely tastes like an apple cider donut. So really happy with that. Don't forget, as I mentioned at the beginning, this was a collab with Brandy over at Brandy Nicole. Please make sure you go check her out down below. And if you're new here to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe, especially if you like real life kind of videos like red no makeup face and messy hair and that's real life like I'm not gonna get dressed up to clean my house 
because I'm just going to get hot and sweaty and need a shower. So if you like that, that kind of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!